Hello, this is Marbazir, and in this quick video I'm going to show you two things. First, how to install Civilization 5 mods manually, and second, how to fix a situation where you subscribed to a Civilization 5 mod on the Steam Workshop, but it's just not showing in-game. It's just not there. This is a fairly common problem and it has a very easy solution. These are both things that I get asked about a lot, so I figured I'll just make this quick video. So, let's start from the second problem, the Steam Workshop problem because that's very easy and quick to fix. You need to go into this folder, Documents, My Games, Sid Meier's Civilization 5, and then you need to go into the Cache folder. And what you need to do here is just delete the Civ 5 mods database file. Deleting this will force the game to refresh the entire mod list. So if you start Civilization 5 now, go into Mods and go into your mod list, this will force the game to refresh all the mods that you have. This might cause the game to crash initially if you have a lot of mods like me, if you have like 50 plus mods. This might make the game crash initially because it's basically refreshing everything at once. But it will work, it will force your mod to refresh and show up if you subscribed on the Steam Workshop but you weren't seeing the mod before. You will see it after you do this. So now, how to install mods manually. Let's say you downloaded a Civilization 5 mod from Civ Fanatics or whatever, maybe it's a mod that's not on the Steam Workshop, or maybe you just want a mod from the Steam Workshop to be installed manually, whatever, doesn't matter. There are quite a few mods that are on Civ Fanatics that aren't on the Steam Workshop. And this is also a fairly common question. So what you need to do is, again, go into this folder, Documents, My Games, Sid Meier's Civilization 5, then you go into Mods, and I have one mod file right here, Ethnic Units. All the mods will generally have C5 mod extension, and this is really just a zip archive. So all you have to do is just extract it with 7-zip, for example, which is what I'm using. You can also just rename the file to have a zip extension, because that's all it really is. Then you just extract it into its own subfolder, that's the important part. And that's all you really have to do. Sometimes the mod archive will already have a proper folder structure inside, sometimes it won't. It's worth checking if you didn't install a double folder, like ethnic units folder inside ethnic units folder. And once you do that, you just start the game and the mod will show up on your list. So that's all. That's all you have to do. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.